Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dan here, and uh, today I'm just going to be doing a quick Unity 3D tutorial as a request from one of my friends. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing uh, some basic character movement. So, uh, I'm, I'm expecting that you should already have the, uh, the, you, the program installed itself, and then, uh, you know, have something along the lines of what I've got here. The layout doesn't matter, you, you don't need the same layout as me, I mean, you could have, like, the inspector right there, which makes no sense, but, uh, hey, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we might as well get started, I don't want, want these tutorials to be very long. So, yeah, I've just got a quick uh, little scene set up here, and uh, here's my camera, and if I go ahead and hit play, there is absolutely nothing happening right now. It's a very boring game, I wouldn't want to buy it. But we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Game Object, Create Other, and we're going to create a plane, just for a basic walking surface area thing. You know, because why not? And then uh, we're going to go ahead and take our camera and move it up to 1 on the Y axis. So now if we go ahead and hit play, you can now see we've got this gray area, but that's not the point of this tutorial. You should already know how to do something like this. But anyway, uh, now we're going to get our player character, and he's just going to be represented by this uh, capsule. So we're going to go ahead and create that. And um, there. Uh, 1.5 should be good. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag the, the camera onto our capsule. And I'm going to name the capsule Player and hit enter. And now the if you drag the camera on top of the, the uh, player object, it should now be a, a uh, subcategory, so to speak, the, the, the down arrow thing. But anyway, uh, so now it's using relative position to this object itself. So now I'm going to move this up to point seven five to be like high level. And um, I'm going to move back, actually, so that we've got like a, oh, that habit for saving. And now I'm just going to go to game object, create other, and a directional light for some light in this scene. So it's not dark and scary. So uh, if you go to your game tab, you can now see, this is what you would see if you had actually played the game itself. So we've now got light in our scene, we've got a, a platform, and we've got this uh, this player character. But if we do it ahead and hit play, I don't know if you can hear me hitting my keys, but it's not doing anything. So we're going to want to fix that now. And this is where the scripting portion comes into it. And if you want to be a game developer, drag and drop is not what programming and game development is all about. So if, if, if you don't want to do programming that scares you, you, you can leave now. But if you are sticking to the, the whole programming thing, continue, because it's fun. So anyway, I'm going to go to Create, and then JavaScript. JavaScript is the easiest language to learn for the Unity 3D game engine, and um, that's what I'm going to be using for most of these tutorials. So anyway, I'm just going to call this player movement. And names don't matter. You can name it anything you want. It's just if you're making a reference to it in a later script, um, you're going to want to try to use similar names. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And it's going to go ahead and open up uh, my my scripting thing, which is just mono develop because I've used that. And you should have this. If you don't have this, then you probably created some other type of scripting thing. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all of that because I don't need it. And now we're going to get started. So we're going to do var speed colon is a float. And we're going to set it equal to 5 for start. So var stands for variable. So this is a variable of our script. Speed is what we've called it. Uh, the semicolon is, oh, well, not semicolon, uh, the colon is for uh, 
it's just there. Don't worry about it. And then uh, float is in, is um, a form of a number. So a float is uh, actually a float would be like a that's a float. A float has a, a decimal point when programming. If we wanted to do uh, an integer, integers in programming do not have decimal places. And then the equal point is the equal is obvious in itself. And then the semicolon is like a uh, period for ending any ordinary sentence. So this is the way the computer would read it, and that would be the period for the sentence. I'm going to go ahead and save that real quick. Bad habit. And we're going to go ahead and enter. I'm going to do another var. And we're going to do move horizontal horizontal is equal sorry uh, colon vector 3 and is equal to vector 3.0 there we go and if you want me to explain this I'm probably not going to a vector 3 is just a point in 3d space that's like the easiest way to explain that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and enter again because we're gonna need two of these we're gonna need move vertical and this is gonna be the same exact thing so it's gonna be vector 3 is equal to vector 3.0. There, so we've got all the variables we need for this specific script, and now we can get on to the more complicated fun stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and int enter twice, it's just a habit that I have, I want to have my, my code all organized and stuff. So we're going to do function update, open squiggly bracket, enter twice, close squiggly bracket, and function update, uh, well the function part is just a, uh, it's like a, inside the function you'd have a block of code that the, that the engine would read, and then function update is a built-in function to Unity 3D that is called every frame of your game. So it's called a lot. So you would have like for instance, uh, oh, not one, function start we don't actually need this part, but I'm just explaining this. Uh, function start is um, it's a function that is called whenever the script is first initiated, so right whenever the game would start, and then after that, uh, it would it wouldn't be called ever again. So if I wanted to have speed equal to something at the start of the game, but then have it changed as soon as the first frame was played, then that's how that would work. But we don't need the function start. Just yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do var controller colon is a character controller and this is equal to get component I'm just reading off of uh, the the uh, extra window I have next to this I've got two monitors, and that is equal. Well, in the in the parentheses, we're going to do uh, character controller again. There. So what this is, and the reason why we didn't put it up here was because uh, it's only going to be called inside the update function. So if I wanted to have a different function, it I could not call this. It would not recognize this as a full fledged variable. So I can only reference it inside of well, between these two squiggly brackets, there. So we're going to go ahead and enter twice. We're going to do if if controller dot is grounded. So what this is doing is it's accessing our variable, which is equal to the character controller class set by uh, Unity itself. So it's going into there and it's choosing a variable that we've named here that is inside of this script. So what the dot is actually doing, it's like, uh, so it's saying we're reading from character controller and this is the variable that we're calling. So this is like the slash when you're doing the, um, 
like if I open up this real quick and then uh, if I go to documents If I go up here, see these slashes? This is kind of what it's doing, the, the slashes. So, yeah. Um, what we're going to do now is tab, and then we're going to put in all of the information we need for movement and stuff. So we're going to do move horizontal is equal to vec vector 3. And then we're going to do input dot get axis or parentheses. And we're going to, inside these parentheses, we're going to do two quotation marks. And we're going to put in horizontal. And I, yeah. There. And then we're going to do comma, zero, comma, zero. And then we're going to end that with a semicolon. For the next line, we're going to do move horizontal is equal to transform dot transform direction. And then inside of this, we're going to put move or is on again. There. And the next line we're going to do, this one's a really short one, move horizontal multiplied equals speed. So what this is doing, this, uh, uh, this section of code, is it's reading the input that we've called, so horizontal is the input we're calling, so that would be the A and the D, or the, the left and the right arrow keys that we're calling. So it's looking for that, and then this is also, this is looking for, um, okay, so transform is the position, and transform direction is moving, like, it's moving, in the move horizontal thing. And then move horizontal is multiplied equals by speed. So this is where we get the movement right here. So this is configuring the movement, and then this is doing the movement, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna need to do the same thing again, but for move vertical, if we wanna have like forward and backward and then left and right. So we're gonna do that real quick, move vertical, is equal to vector 3. But for this one, we're going to need to do uh, 0, 0, and then we're going to do input dot get axis. And then inside of this brackets, we're going to put vertical there. And then we're basically just going to do the same thing up here. So move vertical is equal to transform dot transform direction. And then we're going to put move vertical. And then we're just going to do the same thing for right here. Move vertical is multiplied equal by speed. And there, now we've got the, the basic thing for our movement setup. And then outside of the if statement, we're going to enter twice. We're going to do controller dot move. And I hate mono develop for doing this controller dot move and then in here we're going to put move or is console 
then we're going to multiply this by time dot delta time there. So here, I'll just do the next line real quick and then I'll explain that. So controller. Controller escape dot move move vertical is multiplied by time dot delta time. Okay, so time dot delta time is um it's it has to do with the the game the speed that the game is running at. So instead of calling at the uh, every instead of it being like multiplied by time dot uh, I can't remember what one it was, but if I had called it by the, something different, it would be maybe calling it by every frame or every other frame. But delta time calls it by the, the FPS that the game is running at. So if your if your game is running really slow it wouldn't have any difference in effect if your game was running really fast. So it's based upon how fast the game's running itself. If that makes any sense. So yeah, that, that's all for this script. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it again. And I'm gonna go minimize it. And there we go. So you're gonna go ahead and drag your script onto your player object. And it should be right here, there. So we can go ahead and just change this to like 10 or 1 or whatever we felt like considering we've already done that. And yeah, that, that's, that stuff stays. And if we go ahead and hit play. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I knew I was going to forget this whenever I was doing the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to go to component, physics, and then character controller. Make sure you have your player selected. And now it'll add the character controller object, which if you remember we referenced right here. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that again. And now if we hit play, uh, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I, I found the, the problem after about five minutes of looking through. So what I actually forgot was uh, this one specific part. So we need one more variable. And we're going to do gravity, which is also going to be a float. It is going to be equal to uh, 15. And then we're going to do move horizontal dot y. So we're using the, the y position of the vector3 variable that we've created. And so what we're going to do is minus equal gravity and then multiply it by time dot delta time. And then we're going to do the same for the move vertical dot y minus equals gravity and then multiply that by time dot delta time because this is call it this is, this if statement is only going to be called if the character controller is grounded so if it's touching something so this can only be called at that position so if we go ahead and minimize it we come back into unity and hit play you'll see that the character dropped and now we can move around so we've created a, a wonderful game, and you can fall off your platform. So, yeah, that's about it for uh, this episode. The next one I'm hoping to cover maybe, like, uh, some kind of shooting thing. So you can, like, shoot little balls or something like that, maybe, possibly. I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if your name is Jake, please give this video a like. If your name isn't Jake, I'd also recommend giving this video a like because, you know, why not? And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.